Vladimir Putin hasn't said anything about the attack yet, but Russia says they are investigating, whereas already early Saturday morning there. Brian Anton joining us live from our New York newsroom with more details. Hi, Brian. Hey, Leland. Yeah, the latest is that ISIS has claimed responsibility for the attack at the concert venue. Uh, they did put out a short statement that they, we have, uh, but they haven't provided any hard evidence that they're connected. The latest numbers coming out of Russia, you mentioned 40 dead, 100 wounded during the rock, con rock concert. Much of the attack, as you see there, was captured on cell phone video. You see the terrorists. Some of them were dressed in what almost looked like fatigues. They had guns. They also had incendiary devices. Uh, witnesses say one of the terrorists actually threw a grenade, which is why the building was on fire for so long. Uh, this is interesting, though. U.S. intel received chatter about a terror attack at a concert in Russia. That came weeks ago. They reportedly warned the Russians, uh, but Russia at the time claimed America was just trying to destabilize Russian society. Apparently, uh, the U.S. Uh, intel was correct, though. Putin has long claimed that he's the best person to keep Russia safe and secure, uh, and the owner of the concert hall actually happens to be a huge supporter of Putin. Now, there hasn't been a major terror attack in Russia since the early 2000s, uh, when Chechen militants took 800 people hostage. That was also at a Moscow theater. That was in 2002. This latest attack, interestingly, comes just five days after Putin claimed he won the latest presidential election. Of course, you almost have to say, like, election in air quotes. It's a word you really can't use seriously, obviously, uh, when you're talking about Putin's grip on power there, Leland. Yeah, and he's used terror attacks in the past, uh, sometimes perhaps complicit in them, uh, to keep uh, a hold on power. Brian, thank you very much. Brian is in for Ashley Banfield tonight. A couple of hours from now, Princess Diana's butler uh, will join him about what is also our next story. Brian will be watching. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.